and welcome back to Google Part 3 calendar page. This is video number five in the series and we are going to create our calendar page. This is a very quick page to create. We previously created our public and our private classroom, our private personal and public classroom calendar and we will use our classroom calendar today. So you will remember that when we want to create a new page, we click on the New Page button. You can also use the shortcut C key, and it allows you to create a new page. I'm going to name my page Calendar Page, or just Calendar, actually. I'm going to use the Web Page option. I'm going to do Top Level, and I'm going to click Create. Now, this page is so easy to do, so you will want to watch first and then do it. So what we want to do is we want to go to Insert, and what are we trying to insert? We are inserting a calendar. So you'll never notice over on the right-hand side that it lists all the Google products that you can insert. So the calendar, a chart, document, drawing, group, etc. We are going to insert a calendar. When you do that, you will see all of the calendars that you have in your list. And so I am going to choose just a general calendar for EDEL 3250. So you can choose whichever calendar you want. I can also choose multiples. Um, and maybe I can't anymore. Oh, there we go. So you can choose multiple calendars. So I'll actually choose all three classes so that you can all see your calendar in there. You click on select and you will just choose your one classroom calendar. Click on select. Display another calendar. It did not let me do it after all. Click on select. And another calendar. And click on select. Now I have my three calendars here. You will want to leave your height and width the way it is. You can choose to view it in month, week, or agenda view. And you can play around with that one. I'm going to leave it in month view. You can choose your time zone. And I do like to do this so that my students know which one we are looking at. So I'm going to choose the Denver one. <clears throat> you can show week, month, and agenda tabs so they can choose their own options. Show the calendar name or not show the calendar name. That is up to you. Show navigation buttons, current date range, include a border, and include the title. I do not want a title because I am already choosing to show the calendar name. So I don't want to include the title. Plus, I have three calendars showing so I wouldn't want to list that. Then I click Save, and now we've got that ugly box again. And so remember that when you get this ugly box, you need to hit Save. Once you hit Save, your calendar just pops in here. Remember that you cannot add items to this calendar. You need to make the changes in your personal calendar make sure they are on the correct classroom calendar and then they will just show up here. Now your students are able to choose by the week, by the month, or agenda. Whichever best suits their needs, they can also go to different months. October, let's see what's happening in November. And so this is our November calendar. And now that I'm just cruising around, I notice that there's files and comments. And remember, we do want to remove those on each of our pages. While we're here, we want to go ahead and show it in the sidebar and click Save. And the calendar pops up. I'm going to change the navigation so I can get them in alpha order. But for now, that'll remind you to do that step. And we are done with our Google Calendar page.